Hey Genesis family. Hi Genesis Project family. How's everybody today? Hey, we want to give you a little bit of a tour and show you a little of the beauty that is uh, the beginning of summer here in beautiful northern Idaho. Yes, and here my mother now have a lot of flowers. Some of the mm. um, plants no longer have flowers on them, but we want you to see um, kind of the finished work also of the pond. We have to dig it up a couple of times because we have some issues. Yeah, yeah, water but, features. Yeah. yeah, but the flowers is in bloom and it is so beautiful. So we just want to show you that and we will tell you what Cliff is going to do from tomorrow. Big news. Big news. Okay, so what we are showing you is all the beautiful flowers, okay? So if you see there, that is pink peonies. Correct, Bubs? Yep, peonies. Um, we have irises here. Beautiful yellow and white iris. But I think this is like my favorite. Look at this. Look how beautiful that is. We Purple have and copper. Right? Yeah. We have some that's across there as you could see. Right? But look at these beautiful huge white peonies. Isn't they beautiful? Oh my word. Go to Dendron. Right. We have some more um irises here colors more irises here and what we will show you hey look we've got lilies right here these are called day lilies oh day lilies okay didn't know that okay so what i think is like my pride and joy it's not my plants but it's my mother-in-law plants but i want to show you this so i know that we told you or we had showed pictures about the water feature but look at all these puppies here. All these are puppies and roses. And I don't know if you all could see clearly, but on one rose bush, there's like three different color roses. But let me show you the- some White, some pinks, some, some peach. Yeah, so look at the water feature. So we had to pull up the water feature just because we had some issues with it, but it's working now. So all the black plastic that you're seeing there, um, that will you'll no longer see that we just have to put back in the rocks, but Look at the creek bed All this is the creek bed as you could see All right, and we have some beautiful ornaments here. They are um, solar operated This one is a hummingbird one there is a dragonfly and we have another one here, which is a butterfly So in the night they light up and change colors so this is the roses that I wanted to show you. Look at these roses. So some of them, as you can see, is white. Some of them is like different shades of pink. And all the puppies are, isn't this beautiful? All right. And this is like, and when you look, you could see sunset. sunset. Look at this. God's handiwork. Painting the sky tonight. Yes, as Cliff said, God's handiwork. And you'll get a little view back on this little water feature here. So we wanted to share with you some big news. Um, mm -hmm. As of tomorrow morning, I will be yet flying out again. Yeah. <laughs> flying into um, North Carolina, so mm -hmm. all the way across the United States, and I'm going on a uh, hands-on training for Samaritan's Purse. So with my new position with Samaritan's Purse, I've been blessed to, uh, to get a lot of good training that'll start um, Monday morning and go through next Sunday. So Sunday to Sunday, I'll be gone, missing my wife. Yes. You know how I am when when I'm away from Arlene. We always do everything, well, a lot of things together. As much as we can, well, as much as God allows. So we'll be, uh, I will be heading to North Carolina for my training and Arlene will be continuing to do her work here. Uh -huh. um, and just uh, excited to, for what God has in store, uh, right. to learn, to learn and to be effective for his plan in my life. Right, um, and you know, hearing Cliff and knowing that Cliff is leaving tomorrow mm. and seeing all these beautiful flowers, you know, mm. around us, you know, the peonies, the roses, the poppies, you know, it, it brought to me a scripture, which literally have been ministering to me for like a week. 
or since these these flowers have been in bloom and it is taken from Matthew 6 um, it's from Matthew 6 so I'll be looking down and reading right it's Matthew 6 from um, 25 that talks New, about New King James Version yes because I just prefer New King James Version um, and it talks about don't worry so it says therefore I say to you do not worry about your life what you will eat or what you will drink nor about your body and what you will put on is not life more than food and your body more than clothing look at the birds of the air for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into bands yet your heavenly father feeds them right it goes on to say are you not more valued than they which of you by worry can add one cubit to his stature then 28 goes on to say so why do you worry about clothing consider the lilies of the field how they grow we just saw lilies there lilies, yeah. right um, and we just and we saw the peonies and the roses they neither toil nor spin and yet i say to you even solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these now if god so close the um grass of the field which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven will he not much mm. more clothe you right and that is a reminder for us all when we you know walking around when we you know admiring all the beautiful birds you know and because we see a lot of birds coming around now especially as had the water feature yes. and because it is the start of summer you know you see the hummingbirds um coming around and you and you look at all the, the beautiful flowers right you tell yourself you know not just to admire it but to remember the god who created and that is to minister to us and he's telling you especially with what is going on right now with covid right we know that in the U.S. a lot of places are open up, right. but where I'm from, Trinidad and Tobago, the country is more or less in lockdown and curfew still. because they have a lot of cases, a lot of people dying still in that country. So it have a lot of people, even family members. My sister and my niece haven't been working for a long time, and things are really tough for them. And I know it is tough for other families. Most definitely. And what God is saying to you is that when you look at the birds, when you look at the flowers, think of me. I am your provider. I will take care of you. You know, if I will take care of these wild birds, if I will take care of these lilies, even Solomon, the Bible say, and Solomon was like a billionaire back in those days. He was the richest man and he couldn't dress up as beautiful as the lilies or these roses or these puppies, right? He couldn't, Truly. he couldn't dress up as good as them because God literally put those colors together. And that is what God is saying to you. When you look at his creation, I want you to remember this, that God will provide for you. He provides for the animals, the wild animals, the birds, the flowers. He will provide for you Amen. because you are the apple of his eye. And if he could take care of all of them, he could take care of you. And we understand that things is really tough with, with so many people because we have had a lot of tough situations, especially when we had so much medical bills um, from Genesis and all that. So we understand. So I'm not just blowing smoke. I understand True. that. So I am telling you to trust God because he has your back. Yes, he does. Every day and every way. So I hope that you all take this scripture and it minister to your heart and encourage you as you go on to your week. Much love. See you when I get back. God Bye. bless. Thanks for your prayers.